All right, Simply Red and Chaka Khan. And this is Brad Coffey. I'm here. Welcome, Thank you, buddy. Gary. Thank you. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank uh, you. This guy is a, as you see on the screen, he's an actor, he's a director, he has a movie, he's a movie star. Now, this is a real movie star, okay? Because when you make your own movie, like Clint did when he did Play Misty for me, this guy, years later, is kind of doing the same thing. Artwork is the name of the movie. And last night, I couldn't be there, and I'm so sorry, because we had a doubleheader last night, because Nicole Truskowski had a birthday party. And I had to be there. JB and I went over. What a night that was. But I know you guys had a great night over at the Lighthouse Cinema in Pacific Grove where you had the premiere of the movie here in the Monterey area. Yeah. I was lucky because about a month and a half ago, about a month and there half, was yeah. a premiere over in Santa Cruz. And so I was, be, I was able to be at that premiere. So I got to see the movie then. But you had a big group show up last night, Brad. Yeah, yeah, I think about a hundred people. Wonderful, yeah. that's great. Yeah, that's good. And that's... locally, it was great. And when we when we asked them, we asked them, "Hey, uh, how many people?" Uh, Kevin Paul, my producer, he asked, "How many people uh, ha are haven't seen the film See, yet?" Yeah, and yeah. and everybody in the audience raised their hand except for my mom, who was who was there, and she my saw close it. friends. Yeah, yeah. She's seen it a million times, and she supports me every time. Of but um, they. Uh, they all the you know all the people that were there raised their hands in the in, in the in the theater and we we're like, oh great. <laughs> well, you know what, what? I have to be honest with you. What really blew my mind, because you told me what you spent to make the movie, but mm -hmm. the music bed that is going on throughout that whole movie, I would have thought you spent fifteen million dollars to make that movie. Yep. Unbelievable. Thank you. Thank you. And how do you how do you find someone to to do the music for a movie like you did, where, where do you find these people? Uh, well, I did the music. You did the music. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, uh, the 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 initial score in the intro and then the uh, the outro, oh uh, the beginning and end of the film, and then I had Scott Mineshock, my composer from New York. Uh, we were collaborating, and we all met on Craigslist, and Jeez. it was during the pandemic when everything kind of shut down, yeah. and he responded to my ad on Craigslist. He was in at the time. He was in Colorado. And then he moved to New York. But when he was in Colorado, he responded to my ad, and he's like, hey, um, I'm willing to do music with you. Uh, what do you do? And so I sent him the score that I wrote, um, which is essentially the score for artwork for, for the movie. Artwork for the movie. We got a little clip about your promo from last night. Uh, Rachel, can we run that? I, it's only a few uh, seconds here, but let's put that on just for the heck of it. Not being in handcuffs tells me you guys are looking for something else. This weekend... A thrilling story of mystery and adventure. Written and directed by Brad Coffey. Produced by Kevin Paul. Special appearance by E.G. Daly. Lighthouse Cinema presents... Artwork. Promo. That was the promo yeah. that uh, was uh, on... To get people to come to the screening right. last night, yeah, uh, the red carpet event over mm -hmm. in Pacific Grove yeah. with Brad and his team and the other actors that were in that movie, and then we're going to play the trailer for you, so stick around. But now, where can they watch this? They can see it online. Mm -hmm. Is it Amazon Fire? Is it Amazon Prime? Is it where is it? So we have Apple TV. Apple TV. We okay. have Tubi. Tubi. We have uh, Prime Video. Uh, we have an app, uh, Plexit TV. Wow. Reveal, R E V E E L, um, uh, Thrills and Chills on YouTube, uh, Thrills and Chills channel. Um, and then uh, another one, which is a virtual reality um, app our distributor got for us. And I don't know much about it, but it's, it's but up there. You're, it's out there. Um, ca I mean, ca Caribou, I think it's called Caribou. If somebody Thank wants you. to watch this movie, they can find this movie to watch. And I'm telling you, it's fabulous. He Thank just. You. This guy is so talented, he just blew me away. And uh, I can say now, I know a movie star. Oh, thank you. Right here. This is the guy.
You know, I've been trying to get yeah. Clint on uh, to at least do a, we'll get a Zoom. Well, yeah. we'll one get of him. these days. I'm not going to give up. <laughs> not going to give up. But I got Brad Coffee here. I'm I'm happy to be here. I'm so, I'm so happy that you're here. Yeah. We're gonna let's show the uh, trailer now. Sure. So because sure. it's a little bit longer and it kind of gets people caught up in what the movie's all about. So Rachel, will you run the trailer? I steal art. I steal art and I sell it. I don't keep tabs on your rival gangs. Four places in one month. Can you believe this guy? And no one has anything on him other than his mask. We need to find out where the last one is. Bet that's where he'll be headed next. It says here that it burned down in the museum. So then who's he giving this painting to? I want out. I'm not just gonna let you walk out. Victor Surikov. He wants something very valuable to him. I know where it is, and I'm gonna take it. I steal it, I bring it to you, and I'm out for good. One more favor. Then we have a deal. Mark. <laughs> I'm Sophia. Very smooth, Mark. I try. Are you saying that Benny Fang has my painting? What was the name of that painter from the last painting you bought? Why? It's this old Russian painter, Ivan Shishkin's diary. So you're saying we have to break in somewhere? Not you, I do. But I prefer sneak in, not break in. Oh, and Victor. Yeah. You ever come back here again? You won't leave here alive. You're coming with us. For what? As a person of interest. We got everything we need to bury you, Mr. Masked Art Thief. I'm surprised the papers didn't give you a better nickname. And me not being in handcuffs tells me you guys are looking for something else. Artwork is the movie, and this is the guy that made it all happen. How did you get the idea? Where did it come from, Brad, that you wanted to do this? How did this all happen? Well, when, um, when COVID happened, the entire world shut down. My father was here in Monterey. I was living in Los Angeles most of my life, and I came up here to essentially take care of him. And I, while I was here, you know, I, I, I needed to do something. Uh, yeah. All of Hollywood shut down. No one was working. Uh, you know. Were you working in Hollywood? I was, yes. You working yes, down, down there? there. Yeah, so you're doing it. stuff down there? Yeah, acting gigs, directing, producing, whatever whatever I could get and my hands on. that place just with COVID shut down? Yeah, it, there was nothing. There was nothing, nothing going so, on? No. So when that happened, I was up here and I wrote a, uh, I wrote a five-page script and then, um, or a five-page treatment, tr script, treatment, whatever. For right, artwork? You know. Yes, for artwork. Okay. It was supposed to be a pilot for a show okay. and it was the essentially the first five minutes of the film. Okay. And so when I did that... Um, I needed cast and crew. I don't know anybody from yeah. here. So like, how do you that. find them? Well, so, you go online and put an ad somewhere? and Craigslist. Craigslist, wow. And I, I met everyone on Craigslist. Wow. And everybody that was here is not from here. We had a few people from uh, the military, the DLI that were here. Um, we had a few people that uh, came here from got, you know, Washington, uh, the East Coast, and that just so happened to respond to my ad. And chemo was the first and him and I the first question he asked me uh, Kimo is Kevin Paul he's the uh, producer of the film uh, right. but Kimo's his nickname but okay. his, is he here uh, uh, living here now he he is he's up he's uh, he's up in like Watsonville Abdon Watson area. okay yeah, so okay. he's yeah. he's yeah. fairly close but, he, and he was in the movie but he was the Russian yeah. accent and he's not God. really Russian he's full blown Italian <laughs> Like, <laughs> well, he did a good job yeah, so, with that accent. And, and it was funny, after the first soft premiere, um, when people asked him, they were, they were like, so are you from Russia? He's like, no, hey, what's up? And they're like, oh, you're 
you're not Russian. And he's no. like, he's like, no, 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 I'm Italian. <laughs> so what a guy, yeah. what a guy. Well, he uh, he knocked it out. And uh, now, is this the kind of film where you have film festivals? <laughs> where you can take the film to a film festival. Can you do yeah. that with this? Yes, so we've, we've submitted to you know, two, two dozen film festivals. We've, we've won three, got nominated at one. Uh, we've won a uh, Humro Film Festival uh, in Nepal. We got Best Picture. Uh, wow. One in India, um, a Pageant Film Festival, I believe it's called. Sorry, guys, I don't, I don't remember that one. No problem. But I think it was Pageant Film Festival, shout out Pageant. Uh, we got Best Picture. And then another one in, um, in, in Parrot Clown International Film Festival, we got Best Picture. And then at Cannes, not the big Cannes, but it's... There's a little one. It's a little one at the same location wow. where they do the big Cannes Festival. Wow, wow. And we got nominee for that. Great. And there was, and surprisingly, Fabulous. there was at the premiere last night... Uh, we had a great turnout, the red carpet, everything. We had wonderful, a uh, wonderful group of people showed up. There was there was a couple that they came here all the way from Spain uh. to watch the movie, and I thought they were joking. And I asked them, I was like, "You're kidding? Like, no, you didn't." And they're like, "No, we came here from Spain." The guy had a, a beautiful accent, and him and his wife, they're like, "No, we flew here from Spain to meet you and oh watch the movie." Oh my goodness! So I grabbed Kevin Paul, I grabbed Kimo. I was like, "I was like, hey, VIP, come on." Yeah, get <laughs> so, over here. Yeah, and wow. he, we met, we all talked, and they're like, yeah, we watched the movie there, and we came out here because we wanted to meet you. And I, that was one of the most... Well, that's gratifying. Uh, that was incredible. I mean, all of the work and time, what, two years? You two and a half you years. To, two and a we half years. this movie, two and a half years. To make this happen, and uh, this guy uh, <clears throat> knocked it out, is, in my opinion, he knocked it out of the park. Thank you. For his first feature film? Come on. I mean, who does this? It's Thank amazing. You. I mean, and you talk about hard work. Making a movie is not something simple. I mean, nope. <laughs> this little show, this is easy. But making a movie is not easy. It's a lot of work, a lot of collaboration from all the people that he yep. brought in. He found them all on Craigslist. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, oh, now, Craigslist. you've got something in the works. <clears throat> This isn't it for you. This is like, okay, you're on a roll. You're coming up with something new yeah. right around the corner. Tell us what you got in the back of your mind coming up. So this, uh, this labor of love, as we like to call that's, it. That's what it for, is. For artwork. The, the, um, this was essentially just to get our foot in the door and okay. get us the meetings we need. Okay. It wasn't, we weren't expecting to make any money. We weren't expecting to, you know, become, you know, huge movie stars. After no, this you film. were going to just get the ball rolling. Right. Okay. So upon doing so, we, we were thinking like, hey, if we can just get this as a resume film and then people can see it and say like, look at what these guys did for uh, about 80, roughly $8,400 is oh. what it took. And oh. then two and a half years of our time. Well, and I can have done put it. dollars on that. Right, but still. Right. I mean, you know, your cash outlay. This whole movie was filmed right here mm -hmm. on the Monterey, Monterey Peninsula. And Carmel one scene Monterey. in Los Angeles. And one scene in LA. Wow. Yep. And so doing that, now we got, thank God, we've been getting a lot of recognition from people who are like, what's next? And I'm like, well. That's what this, I'm asking. That, right. So, what's next? So to, so to answer your question, um, they, they um, next, Yeah. Um, we have people that are very interested in now, okay, you did this for this what can you do for X amount? So it's ah. like, if we did this for $8,400, what could we do for 500,000, a million, 2 million? Oh, what can we do for that? And goodness. I, and that's a, it's a, it's a very, um, it's, it's, it's not intimidating. It's just, it's, well, but you, you're going, you're, you are here and now right. you're going to be over here. It's a big step up. It's a big step. And there's been a good amount of people that are, looking to you know send some money our way and they're like hey we want you to do another and yeah. it's one of the most amazing things last night at the after the thing there was a there was a good number of people that were asking like because the way artwork ends i'm not going to spoil it for yeah. the fans right. but the way artwork ends all of them were at everybody in the theater was asking questions everybody i was completely blown away what's thought, gonna be next and they were asking is there gonna be artwork too yeah, and i was just like well the way if you go see the movie the way it was ended was because i didn't know and i ended it in a way where it's like i mean all movies can the movie magic yeah, right. you can make a second yeah. movie out of anything right. but 
This one I ended it in a certain way where if if there was enough demand, you know, if a big you, studio like pick liked it up it, where it left off and right. move it down the road, right, right? And then we just create another story and we keep going, but like a little bit bigger. But the next project, sorry to answer your question now, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, is uh, we have I wrote a script while we were shooting artwork because I wanted something back to back to back. So ah. after this, we have five we have five scripts ready already mm -hmm. in in the, laying on the yes. table. We have a we have a comedy, we have a rom com, we have uh, another a drama, and then another drama thriller. The drama thriller, what we're doing next, is called Point of the Pines. And I play an a English teacher who is mourning the loss of my late wife who encounters a ghost at the graveyard where I Ooh. go visit my wife. And he convinces me to help him solve his murder. And there's a whole twist, and it's a drama thriller. It's very serious. There's going to be some crying. <laughs> so, well, let me uh, ask you a question now, because yeah. they, they've been talking locally here mm -hmm. about Big Little Lies... Three coming back to film with Reese and Nicole and so forth. Okay, and I was just joking because when Dylan was in the studio, we yeah. were talking about mm -hmm. Big Little Lies HBO mm -hmm. coming here. Right, uh, Dylan got a, a, a like an extra part. In the movie, Good for him, yeah, he's, he's a handsome guy. He, yes, he's a handsome guy. Yeah, so shout out so, Dylan. Shout out Dylan. He's not here. You're tonight, not here, but, but that's fine. That's right. I won't take offense to that, but, Dylan. But, but here's the deal. So I said to Dylan, Dylan, how's an old guy like me get an extra part? He said, Well, you got to go stand in line at the Embassy Suites with you know 200 other people, yeah. and maybe they have a part for an old guy like you. <laughs> so I said, Well, when they come to town, let me know. I'll go stand in line. But now here's my question to you. In the next film that you're going to make, can you find a part for a guy like me? Gary, we weren't planning on doing this movie without having you in it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and that's and that's and that's. Oh real. my Ask goodness! Ask Kevin Paul. Kevin I'm Paul said, "I'm going to go to my grave yeah. with that remark." My goodness! <laughs> and that's well, a fact. I mean, how do true. you how do you end a career like mine? Okay, I mean, I started at 17. Uh, got out of the business, got back in the business in my older years. Here I am in Monterey doing this, meeting people like you. I mean, I'm I'm on a high, so high. I've said to people, if I go any higher, I'm going to be in heaven. So yeah. you would make that happen for me. Yeah, yeah. make it and, happen. And it's funny, my my dad. He's he's not an actor, but my, when I was shooting artwork, I put my dad in the scene. I'm sure you, you remember you saw. It. And I, I told my dad, I was like, Dad, you have to be in the movie somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. somewhere. And he said, he said, I'm not, I'm not an actor. I yeah, don't do. Yeah. I was like, I was like, I don't care. You're going to be in the movie somewhere. Put you there somewhere, yeah. just so you go down in history. Mm -hmm. And he, and he's in the movie. He's, uh, he's yeah, there. He's yeah. He, you got to point in the mouth to me. So yeah. I, I, I got to meet your dad. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, he's, he plays the guy. He, uh, a bar pra patron at Benny Fang is the uh, one of the main bad guys. He plays the bar patron at his restaurant. And if it wasn't for your dad, you mm -hmm. would not have come here to make this movie. It's very true. Very true. He's a, the one that made it happen. It was it was a blessing in disguise when I was you know God God in told. in between because of COVID and everything that happened with COVID and he's going to do this movie so his dad's here he needs mm -hmm. him here yeah. and all this happened yeah. my goodness and God was like you need to come up here to take care of your father it's his last years he's ninety three he's still alive you know God and he's he's him. still kicking and, uh, yeah. and I was like okay I'm coming up yeah, there coming up there and I'm going to make something happen yeah. Brad you he are did. amazing thank you. Thank you. you really are, and thank you so much for coming over tonight sure. and helping us out. And I love doing this, and I love talking yeah. about you and your your career. And um, I just hope I stick around long enough to see you get the Oscar for something. Oh, thank you. Well, we just need you till the end of this year because we start pre-production <laughs> end of this year, and you're going to be in the film somewhere. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> JB, see what just started? Yeah. It's That's all their, his fault. Yeah, it's all their fault. Get you get you stronger. Oh, and I want to throw a shout out to yeah. so Phil, who's going to be one of the producers. So uh, Kevin Paul is my executive producer, and then one of the producers under Kevin Paul is going to be uh, Phil. Phil Robertson. And Phil, Phil Robertson is here, and his streaming app I want mm -hmm. to plug right yes. now. It's called yeah. Amplify Music. It just got approved for iOS. Apple. Apple and he's they're he they're going full drive. Tell yeah. me. Well, you got to come back yeah. on the yeah, show. Literally, ju just now, a few minutes ago, really? it just got approved. Wow, yeah. wow, wow, so wow! So Amplify he was Music. A guest Phil's in the studio. US. He was a guest here. What's iOS. The Instagram? Well, yeah. Amplify Music. Wow. Us. That's the Instagram. Amplify Music. Us. You can go yeah. read about this guy. He's gonna be. I mean, hey, come on. Yeah, yeah. And this all happened because of JB. Yeah. 
JB, uh, you know, JB had a bad day yesterday. But JB is all back. the way up from here, buddy boy. <laughs> he made a comeback. He made a comeback. Put your faces yeah. in here. Show, show the, come show the in, people. Come on, stick your head in here. Stick your me. head in. Just say hi. This is the guy JB. that made it all well, happen. This JB. is JB. And there's and Phil. This is yeah. JB. Get, get over there. Get in, Phil. And then this Phil. is Phil. Amplify music. Obviously not uh, studio ready. <laughs> <laughs> He's driving they're, tonight. They're in the audience here tonight. Okay, buddy. Yeah. Thank you so much for Gary, being here tonight. Thank you, thank you for having you. me. It's a pleasure. Thank, thank you. And always. I'm going to hold you to that. We're going to get Gary in the movies. Yes, he is. <laughs> Thank you, okay, Gary. we're going to turn it over right now to none other than Rachel Holmes. She's sitting in the night for Dylan, her brother, and she's got three hits, we hope they're hits, from 2024 artists. So, Rachel, are you ready? Yes, Take it away. 